What's up, Legends? It's Sion. We're back. Um, so, content. Let's talk about it. Um, so, the European server has a, a launch, as you can see right there. Uh, it's pretty cool, and they added in some new language support, as you can see, along with the, uh, the server. So, you got a little tab now in-game where you can, you know, switch back and forth. That's pretty good um, additions for English, so you guys can make it on the fly pretty easy. Switch it. All for the course. Uh, Aramithia, the drop up, I have her already, so this is another week that I'm not going to be summoning, which is fine by me. Um, I could just build up and save, or maybe go into the normal banner and try my hand at that, but you know, it's another week to save for you guys, so you don't have to actually spend, because you don't actually need Aramithia the same way, Aramintha, I'm sorry, the same way that you don't need um, Destina, like, you know, it's just not needed. Um, next up is the specialty change, which is um, Angelic Montemarezzi, which is pretty interesting. She has some good changes, as you can see right here. And I like the way that she looks. That's just pretty cool. Uh, pretty good outfit change and everything. Um, if you don't have Deanne, she'll be all right. She's not um, going to be a, like a straight up replacement for Deanne. She's, she's not bad, though. She's definitely not bad. Uh, her S3, her earnest prayer is going to change uh, from going to what it is right now to recovers allies health, grants immunity for two turns, dispel and two uh, debuffs, also increases the caster's readiness by 50% amount proportion to the target's max health. Soul burn, um, the effect is granted to all allies. Okay, uh... So pretty much if you soul burn it, you'd be able to heal everybody. I, I thought maybe they would just do that just as a make it like part of the base skill. But no, it's a soul burn. So uh, I guess that's okay. Uh, so pretty much for me, what this means is this character is only going to be up to level 50. There won't be any reason for me to use it past. Again, I have Dian and Angelica already at 50 plus. So... I'm just gonna do it to do it just to have her and test her out and have fun with her but i probably won't do anything further but if you don't have any of those characters and you're new to the game she's definitely going to be worth actually doing for you uh, especially with the special change if you go all the way to the end where it's using um, purification has a 100 percent max chance to heal all allies additionally regardless of debuffs so that's actually pretty good to make her be able to heal everybody that's pretty nice and you see other things right here, um, effect resist increased by 15%, 25% increased health by 10%, effect resist of all allies increased by 5%, which is actually pretty nice, increased sleep sorcery um, effect by 15%, which is also nice, increases caster's combat readiness by 10% after purification, the caster effect resistance over 100%, that's crazy, it's kind of specific, um, when using um, purification, a 10% chance to grant that's actually pretty cool too. I didn't see this part when I was looking at it earlier. 10% chance um, to grant continuous healing to all allies for one turn. That's not bad. It, I wish they would make that a little bit higher though. Maybe like 30 or 40%. Um, when using purification, uh, it has a 25% chance to dispel one additional debuff. Again, I wish that was higher. This is kind of making our RNG. Um, it has a 50% chance to... Uh, if we set the cooldown of uh, purification the caster is not debuffed at the uh, beginning of the turn which is actually pretty nice as well so you see it would be really rng and i it, it's like she's gonna be god for a turn if everything goes your way and then you know then things just won't go your way and she won't be god anymore <laughs> all right um the adventure path has been added players will be guided on various content able to obtain various rewards, clear missions, or receive rewards that will make you stronger. Once you clear the adventurous path, you receive rewards. No, oh. and will be advanced to the next quest. Now, I have a question for this, and it's gonna be pretty good. Well, it's a question for you know, still creative or whatever. Um, this will be really, really good if it's retroactive. And what I mean by that is if um, once we get this live, anything that we have done in the past, it'll automatically count. Because 
if this does if it's not retroactive and it forces us to do it now at this point it's gonna suck for the simple fact that you're gonna have stuff done for the week already like raiding and stuff like that because most people just steamroll through raid stuff as soon as Mon monday comes which is generally what i did but this week i just didn't really care <laughs> this week so i didn't i happened to not do it this week so I'm hoping it's retroactive because there's going to be a lot of mad people who won't be able to finish steps. And this kind of happens in Knight's Chronicle. Knight's Chronicle has that problem with their um, with their quest system when it comes to putting new characters in the game. You can't, can't do anything with them because it's just unfortunately that like you've done the quest already for the week or something like that. And then you got to wait like two or three days or maybe even longer if it's earlier in the week, like a Sunday or something like that. And you just end up mad or screwed. I hope that that's the case when it comes to this. The player encounters a quest that can only be completed once per account. The quest will auto complete and the strength of an icon. All right, so this is what I was talking about before, but not necessarily what I was talking about in a week. So it's good that it'll do that. If it does this, then maybe it will do that for the weekly stuff. But maybe not. It's not a guarantee, but it's pretty good that, you know, like, you know, clear one, three. So that's good being that everybody's already done that. So that answers part of the question, but we'll account for the weekly stuff. Like when you get to that point where you got to do raid stuff and you already done it. So, well, hopefully it will do that though. Uh, the adventure path. So little four stages with each stage having a more detailed quest. Players will obtain rewards to complete one type of stuff. If it gives a lot of money and sky stone, creative, you will be the people people like this like make it have like 3,000 sky stone at the end if you complete everything that'd be really nice for the community just 3,000 sky stone so we can bank that sky stone whatever next banners that we have coming and you know people it'll be, it'd be a good thing get a whole bunch of father have like you know maybe maybe four or five star dog father for everybody to actually use that'd be really good for everybody um some nice community morale right there um, so you can see pretty much you can track the quest and what you need to actually do. Uh, next up, we have the help tab. Uh, it has been added for content just to pretty much, you know, point you out the things that just to help you overall if you're lacking in some information to have it naturally in the game. And this type of stuff needs to always be in the game. I always feel that it's a failure when the game forces you outside of the game into a wiki that's when you lose most people because they don't want to actually do all that like damn you know why i gotta go all the way out here why i go why i gotta google this stuff like that so it's good when a, um a company actually does that all right so improvement and bug fixes now this is interesting because they actually buffed aether which i was thought was pretty interesting i i thought that they, it would be nice if they give him a different model like a more like a little bit of older I and mean, he's gonna be emo like that i get it but I would have, um, it would have been nice if they did a spec change. Just, just threw him out there as a spec change too. That would have been really nice just to give him a new outfit and everything. Make him look like a king. Cause he, he, like, just make him look like a damn king. He don't even look like a king. Even, he just doesn't look like a king. So I figured they, they should just give him a little bit more respect than that. Um, right, so the change right here is attack the spirits for 40%. Chance to decrease turn. Um, at, you know, put it up to 40%. Pretty good. You see right here the skill enhancements increased damage dealt by 10 percent increased effect chance by 55 percent and you know it's a pretty good change on this guard which recovers health uh, with water energy by dispelling two debuffs which is interesting because before it didn't dispel anything um uh before uh increasing the caster's readiness by 20 percent amount recovered to target's health now the thing is with this what this does is this allows him to be a good variation to use in wyvern 11. so now immediately he he just like becomes actually really he was already okay for wyvern 11 to begin with but now it's just like wow okay um spirits call after the awakening and recover his health of all allies and cast a barrier for two turns with spirit power that amount proportion of casters um, attack and targets max health the barrier strength proportion of the caster's attack this is pretty interesting as well because you you see right here this all of this becomes particularly even stronger now makes him a good like just a good character overall not great 
not not super ridiculous something like that but if you don't have um dn and, and you don't have um angelica and you everybody should have him and everybody should have him ss he's gonna be relatively good good use for you so we have some other changes right here um edit boss is on um, voice recording um issue has been caught has been has an issue that was caused blood blade uh blood blade karen's brooch should not be the same color the illustration has been fixed i didn't notice that i didn't notice that this has been adjusted in the skill tree for specially changed heroes Adjustments have been made to correct the voice actors shown on the actors list. This applies only to the Korean server. Guild adjustments have been made so most that the most active guild is shown first. The recommended list. Oh, you would have figured that would have always been the case, but I guess not. Um, looking at the rest of this, uh, not not too much stuff. Um, this little minor stuff right here. All right. Yeah, just minor stuff right here, and that's it. Now, getting down to right here, which is pretty interesting, um, this storage right here. Now, if I can store characters, that'd be actually good, but this looks like this is just a, um, a storage where if stuff is over the limit, and you can just bring them in. But if you can just swap them in, because it doesn't look like it, it can do that, but I'm hoping that that is the case, that you can just put characters storage that you don't use because i have a lot of characters i just don't use and i would just throw them in storage so this is not in my inventory because i don't need to be there so yeah if a player's um inventory is full the heroes artifacts will suffer automatically placed in storage there's no time limit for keeping heroes and store artifacts in storage like there could be a limit to how much you can put in there but allow me to put these characters in there i hope that's the case i really do hope that's the case that you can throw characters in there that you don't need like just have like a whole inventory full of fodder because that'd be a good quality of life thing to offer everybody so we can enjoy stuff like that um adjustments have been made to the boss icon and all the rest of this stuff is you know whatever so like i was saying in the beginning just to recap this is again another throwaway week to hopefully to announce the good stuff coming next week we got two interesting things this week between angelic montmorency and uh improved Aether, which are both water units, which both can be used in Wyvern 11, which is useful for everybody else and anybody else who, for whatever reason, wants Araminthia. Um, if you're just one of those people who want, like, you know, pretty, pretty flat chested character in this game compared to the other um, women in the game. Like, she's cute, though. Don't get me wrong. She facial wise, she's cute and everything else. She got the sexy, but curve wise, there's no curves there. So she's definitely not, you're definitely not going to be summoning her for the thick. There's no thick there. It's kind of stick. Probably burn the stick, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, that's all I got for you guys this um, week. Be legendary, and hopefully if you want to get Aramithia, I keep saying Thea, but it's Aramithia. If you want to get her, then, you know, this is your chance to actually get her. But my advice to you is to skip this the same way last week you skipped Destina. And wait till next week or go into the normal banner if you absolutely positively have the need to speed and want to burn your your bookmarks for whatever reason go into the normal banner because like what like you really want to arrow at the like i would just go after the normal stuff if you really want to do something like that uh be legendary again peace